A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. In this video we're going to be highlighting one of the features that is coming out as production ready in version 5.1. Uh, since this is obviously version 5.1 preview 1, this will not be the finalized version or anything like that, so things might change and vary a little bit. But essentially, uh, the smart object system, which is available in 5.1 as production ready, is a sort of framework that's available through a subsystem that allows you to have, for example, AI, although it's not limited to AI, uh, use a sort of uh, object in the world, a smart object, uh, to interact with and do something. And I have created a uh, sort of example map to display this in a third person template. So if we play here and we go into debug mode, you can see that I have a few objects here that have like these circles around here. So this uh, sphere here is a smart object, which, or, or an actor rather, that has a smart object component to it, uh, which in turn has a configuration set up that it has two slots. So a slot in a smart object uh, context is essentially a position or a uh, place where you can reserve doing something when you're interacting uh, with this uh, smart object. So in this case we have an object here that has two slots, so theoretically two AI can go and interact with this. And over here I've created another object, and this smart object only has one slot. So it's this little, uh, uh, not cylinder, what's the word? Oh, I can't sort of triangle-ish -ish thing. Um, anyway, so it has one slot. So I, I have a few of these objects around the world here. I have one over here, I have another one over here that's invisible, I have another one over here. So I have created uh, the ability to spawn in some AIs and we can see how they function. So they have very simple functionality to them. The AI basically have a simple behavior tree set up where they will go and find a uh, a slot available on a smart object and then they will interact with it which is displayed as a simple uh, jumping animation and after they have done that they will roam around a little bit and then they will try and find a slot again essentially um, so let me demonstrate this so I, I spawn in a AI you can see it runs over here it becomes yellow the circle it becomes red when it arrives and then it becomes green essentially what this means is uh, when it's yellow, it is getting claimed by the AI, so it's running up to it. When it's red, it means that it's occupied and it's currently interacting with it. And when it's green, it has essentially released the claim to this uh, smart object. So <clears throat> if we were to spawn in a few more AI, you can see here now that this one is yellow and the one over there is yellow and they're running up to them. And they will be trying to take the objects that are available uh, as they are available for them to claim essentially. So now I have five different AI running around claiming their different uh, positions when they can and you can also see like they have a icon above them displaying when they are actively uh, trying to work towards a smart object as well. So in essence, this is what a smart object is. It is a, an actor in the world which you can set up slots for uh, which allows uh, a character, primarily AI, but you could use them for players as well if you wanted to, uh, interact with in some way. So you could use them as sort of uh, reservations for something. So let's say you had maybe uh, an RTS game or something like that, and um, you could uh, send a few different characters to, to gather at a certain position, then each of these slots would represent one of those gathering positions, or it could be a house that they're building on and there are certain building positions that you could have. Or it could be something like you want to have AI running around in your world being more alive, so these could be like telephone booths and they move up to a telephone booth and make a call and once they're done with the call they move on with their day or try to find another smart object to interact with and stuff like that. So um, that is essentially what smart objects are and uh, setting this up is a little bit uh, involved 
So I'll be creating a different tutorial so we can go through the whole process of doing that so you can see that in more detail. But this is, is, is in essence what uh, smart objects are all about. Uh, that's all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.